And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a sand text effect in Adobe Photoshop. We need a background, I use an image of sand, you will find that via description link below. And now use the type tool, press T for that, type in some text, I'll just call it sand text. If you want to move it around, use the move tool. And if you want to resize that, press Ctrl T. Uh, press Ctrl A to select it all and use the top menu with the move tool to center it. Obviously it works with every font. Now we need to convert it to smart objects, so right click on the layer. Afterwards go down with the fill to 0%. Don't mix it up, so I'm not using the opacity, I'm using the fill. Afterwards, right click blending options and we need bevel and embers. So the values they differ a little bit. What we definitely need is outer bevel and smooth. Def might be the most important factor here. Depending on the canvas size or the background image size, you need to adjust it a little bit. The angle around 160 and 40 should be fine. For the highlight mode, you want to have a light brown color. Let's use the eyedropper tool on background and then move the color around to have a light brown color. And then use a different planning mode. We want to have a screen here. And play around with the opacity. For the shadow mode, for the shadow mode we need a dark brown. So once again I use the Adobe tool and then play around with the color until I've got a brown color. And for the blending mode we'll use multiply. Again play around with the opacity until you've got what you like. Maybe I'll add a little bit more depth to it. That should be fine. Press OK. And now the next step we need to add a filter. Path blur. We've got this path by default. Just drag the start and end points in a diagonal line. And with the speed, you can see you increase the blur or decrease it. Don't overdo it. You want to have a natural look. Taper, once again, we don't want to have that much to make it look natural. Any endpoint, you can see that down here. Just go a little bit beyond the endpoint of the path. Then press OK, take some time to process it. But here we are, and it looks really natural thanks to this two-step process of using bevel and embers and afterwards the path blur. And that's it, this is how you can create this syntax effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.